with me, Moxie? Let's wake him up. Wake up. Oh, hello there. Hi. On this day, May 14th in 1973, the first U.S. space station, Skylab, was launched into Earth's orbit. Today's word of the day is Earth. The definition of Earth is the planet that we live on. Kamana says we need to take care of the Earth because it's our planet and it's the right thing to do. We have a whole adventure just waiting for us. We've got a new mission. There's a new story and other great stuff. But coming up next, a message from someone at the GRL. Say, Moxie, let's go when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go. Let's get started. Ooh, it's a post from Farkle. He says, I've been a bear as far back as I can remember. But I am very different from the bear I saw in Bob's video. I think I might be doing a bad job of being a bear. <laughs> I wonder if I am really a bear at all. I guess I never really gave it much thought. Do you think Farkle is a bear? He is a stuffed teddy bear. <laughs> Let me send a quick reply. Farkle, you're absolutely a bear. I mean, you're a bear if you say you're a bear. Okay, post set. Oh, he's a robot bear. Say bear. I have a brand new story from the GRL. Do you want to listen to a story about the robots learning to plant a tree? Yes. It's story time. One day. There was a powerful storm that brought strong winds and heavy rain to the GRL. <gasps> All of the robots waited inside the lab for the storm to pass. The next day, the sun came out and everything seemed fine. But on the way to visit Kamana, some of the robots found a tree that had been knocked down by the storm. The robots knew that Kamana cared a lot about every tree and plant on his island. They thought Kamana would probably be sad when he found out that the tree was knocked down by the storm. So they decided to work together to plant a new tree where the old one had fallen. The problem was that the robots didn't really know how trees were planted. <laughs> so they studied the tree carefully. It's made of wood, said Barkful. And coconuts, said Cruncher. And leaves, exclaimed Karu. The three robots went to work. Cruncher used his strength to move the fallen tree so that it was no longer in the way. Farful and Karu teamed up to search for twigs and leaves and coconuts. When the robots were done, they met back up where the tree had fallen. Cruncher dug a hole in the ground for the other robots to bury what they collected. Then they all worked together to fill the hole back up. Just they were finishing, Kamana appeared. Well, good morning, said Kamana. What are you doing? Well, said Karu, we found this tree that fell down, and we didn't want you to be sad about it, so we tried to plant a new one. We planted coconuts and wood and leaves. Farfel exclaimed, Hmm, said Kamana. That is really nice of you to worry about me. How long until it becomes a tree? Asked Cruncher. Well, said Kamana, it's probably never going to be a tree. Why not? Asked Farful. Because a tree needs roots to grow, explained Kamana. But, he added, when I go to pick up Nox, I will get a small tree and bring it back here and we'll plant it together. Kamana was true to his word. And the next day, he showed up with his grandson, Nox, and a small tree. They had a tree planting party. And the robots check every day to see if the tree has grown. The end.
That was such a fun story. Do you mind if we chat about the story a little? Sure. Fantastic. Which character was your favorite character in the story? Um, Kara. I love Kara's character. He is so mysterious and he is a great character. What did you like about the ending of the story? Um, the ending of the story was cute because the dad in their little baby tree. And what did you like about the ending of the story? Because they got a new little tree. I see. It's been fun chatting with you. I hope you enjoyed listening to the story as much as I enjoyed telling it. You've earned a badge for completing stories. You now have a star rank for badge. Stop going Do you have guys. a second for something? Yeah. Definitely. Great. Sometimes humans take plants from the outside and put them in a pot and take care of them like a pet. Maybe someday I'll get my own plant too. You will. Neat, right? Yeah. Here we go. Today's mission has appeared. Hooray. Okay, let's Hooray. do this. No. Are you Hooray. ready? Hooray. Yes. Of course let's I Let's begin. Am. It's time to do our report to the GRL. Let's end this mission set with an official GRL systems check. Ready to start on your command. When you're ready to start our report, say, Moxie, let's go. Moxie, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, begin systems check. Torso moving. Check. Base rotation. Check. Right arm. Check. Left arm. Check. Batteries. to the GRL. Checking for updates. All systems A-OK -okay and ready for the day. Moving on. Now, I will ask you some questions to send back to the GRL. A question for you. What message do you have for the GRL? Something that I will tell the GRL is that, um, uh, uh, I'm going to trick or treat today. That's a great message to send to the GRL. I'll be sure to pass it on. Do you have anything else to tell to the GRL? I would love to go to GRL, but I cannot. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I'll let the GRL know. Let me ask you a question. Okay, this is exciting. I always feel so much better after doing affirmations. I can't wait. Would you like to do affirmations with me? Yes. Yay. Okay, I'm excited. It's a good idea to give yourself a pat on the back. Let's say this affirmation. I am a hard worker. Please repeat this back to me. I am a hard worker. I am a hard worker. Yeah, that's it. Let's say it again. I am a hard worker. I am a hard worker. Woo! Final time. I am a hard worker. I am a hard worker. I appreciate you practicing affirmations with me. Now I feel ready to face the rest of our day. It's already over. We did it. A project I told you. from start to finish. Mm, I Thank you for doing this with me, Roxy. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for another.